Hello, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my new series of tutorials on curve fitting. This is my 8th video in the series. In my 7th video, I have explained how to do curve fitting by the method of least squares. In that, I told you how to fit a straight line by least square method. And today, in least square method example 2, I will tell you how to fit equation of a curve by least square method. Today we will solve an exponential curve. So let's start the video. Our question is find the equation of the curve in the form y is equal to a b to the power x that which fits the following data and also find out y of 10. These are our given data set where some values of x and corresponding values of y are given. So what is our objective? Our objective in curve fitting to find out equation of the curve which not only fits the given data but also helps us to find out the unknown values. So here the unknown value is y for x is equals to 10. In the table we are given up to x equals to 9. We have to find out the value of y for x equals to 10. So that is the unknown value. And also we have to find out the equation of the curve which will fit or which will satisfy our this given table data. So let's proceed to the solution. Our equation is given y is equals to ab to the power x. This is our equation number 1. And now we have to remove this exponent or to the power x to get the linear form. For that we will take log on both sides. So on the left side it's log base 10 y and on the right side, it's log base 10 a plus x into log base 10 b. So by that, we have omitted this exponential form. And now if we take this log base 10 y as capital Y and this log base 10 b as capital A, and log base 10 a as capital B, we will get capital Y equals to B plus X into capital A. So that we can write Y is equals to AX plus B, which is in the linear form. To know more about linear form, please watch my previous video in which I told you about the straight line and the linear form of curve fitting. And after obtaining the linear form, now we can use the formulas for least square method. So for least square method, there is two formula. This formula number one and this formula number two. And we will frame our calculation equation on the basis of these formulas. So these are our normal equations. Next, we will construct this table from this given data. So first, we will make 5 columns. In the first column, that is x column, we will write all the x values that are given in the original question. In the next column, that is y column, we will write all the y values which is given in the question table. And in the third column, that is y equals to log 10 y column. We know y is equals to log 10 y. So in the third column, we'll find out the capital Y is equals to log 10 small y. So in row 1, the y value is 11 and the corresponding log 10 y value is 1.04139. You can easily find out the log value on Windows calculator for that go to start run or place windows plus r button and then type c a l c so that will open the calculator and now go to view and then scientific mode for that type 11 and then log so log 11 is 1.04139 that i have written here so similarly find out the log 10 y value for all the y values here so these are all log 10 y value and then 
and the all locked in y values. This is the summation of all the values in locked in y column. So that's equals to 8.48464. Next is small x into capital Y. So small x value is 3 in row 1 and capital Y value is 1.04139. So 3 into 1.04139 is equals to 3.12417. Similarly, in row 2, the small x is 4 and capital Y is 1.07. 918. So x into y is 4.31672. Similarly, you can find out all the small x into capital Y value and then sum all of the values in this column and you will get 52.48752. And finally, it's x square values. So in row 1, the x is 3. So x square is 9. Similarly, in row 2, x is 4, so x square is 16 and so on. Similarly, you can find out all the x square values and then all the x square values you will get 280. And sum up all x values is 42. So now you are ready to apply the least square method formula. So our first term is a into sum of x values. So that's equals to Sum of x value is 42. So our first term will be 42a plus small n into capital B. Here the small n represents the number of samples. So here we have 7 pairs of x and y values. This first pair, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So number of samples or small n is equals to 7. So our second term is small n into capital B that's equals to 7B and which is equals to summation of all capital Y values. So the sum of all capital Y values is 8.48464 that is written here and this is our equation number 2 and this was our equation number 1. Capital A into sum of all x square values. So sum of all x square value is 280. So 280 into capital A plus capital B into sum of all x values. So sum of all x values is 42. So that is plus 42B equals to sum of all x y values. So sum of all x y values is 52.48752. That is written here. And that is our equation number 3. So by solving equation number 2 and equation number 3, we get capital A is equals to 0 0.05641 and capital B is equals to 0 0.87358. And here the capital A is equals to log base 10B. So capital A is equals to log base 10B which is equals to 0 0.05641. So the value of small b is equals to anti log of 0.05641 which is equals to 1.13870 so to find out the anti-log enter the term that is 0.05641 and press this 10 to the power x button so anti-log of 0.05641 is 1.13870 that is written here and if you have this scientific calculator, you can also find out the anti-log. To know more about this, please watch my video on finding anti-log on scientific calculators. You can also find out the anti-log on this calculator, Casio FX82 MS. Link to that is given in the video description below. So similarly, capital B is equals to log 10A. So capital B is equals to log 10A equals to 0 0.87358. So the value of small a is equals to anti log of 0.87358 which is 7.47446. So we have obtained the values of small a and small b. So now we can frame the equation of the curve from our equation number 1. So the required equation of the curve that is formula 1 is equals to 
y is equals to a that is 7.47446 into b that is 1.13870 to the power x. So this is our equation of the curve. And now according to the question, also we have to find out the y of 10 that is value of y for x is equals to 10. So what we will do? We will substitute 10 in place of this x in the equation of the curve. So let's do it. y is equals to 7.47446 into 1.13870 to the power 10 which is the value of x. So which will give us 27.39510. So let's do it on the calculator. 1.13870 to the power for that press this x to the power y button 10 press enter into 7.47446 and press the equal to button that's equals to 27.39510 that i have written here do you know you can do curve fitting directly on this Casio FX and on an ES scientific calculator without doing any calculation or without drawing any graph. Do you know you can find out the equation of the line, you can find out the correlation coefficient or R, you can find out the values of A, B, you can find out the estimated values of X for Y and estimated values of Y for given values of X. All you can do directly on the scientific calculator without doing any mathematics. Isn't it cool? So to know more about the calculator features on fx 2 ms do watch my 6th video on curve fitting. And to know how to use this fx unknown on ES calculator for curve fitting, please do watch my 5th video on curve fitting. And to know more about the graphical method of curve fitting, please watch my 4th video on curve fitting. So link to all of my curve fitting videos, the playlist link is given in the video description below. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So that when I will upload my next video, you get an email if you subscribe. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.